Hey people, welcome back to Follow That Up. I hope you are doing well. So, if you're here, the chances are you want to do something like this and you have found it very complicated given the instructions on the modding website. So I'm going to try and explain it as simply as I can. It took me a while to figure it out and now I've got it and I'm keen to help you as well. There. <laughs> what? There you go. <laughs> Good example of just weird things happening when you're modding the game, but kind of done the job we wanted to. So, time to show you how it was able to install this simple mod and give you some idea of how to uninstall other mods. Okay, so, I think the best place to start is gta5-mods.com. It's got loads of mods on there. There are lots of people who've commented on them, so it makes things safer in terms of making sure you're not downloading malware. But no disclaimer, do so at your own risk. Mod your game at your own risk. Right, that said, the easiest way to get started is install script hook 5. So if you search for it, here we go. Script hook 5 plus native trainer by this guy, thank you very much, Mr. Alexander Blake, for putting this together. And this will give you a basic set of mods and you can have a lot of fun with these. So, first thing we need to do is we need to go and download them. So you have some instructions on here, but uh, possibly, like me, found it all a little bit confusing, but that's why I'm here to try and help you out. So on here you will see number of downloads, number of likes, it will give you some confidence to download it. So here we go. So downloading it takes you through to his site devc.com and here we are, script took five and he's got a bunch of other stuff on there but this is what we're after today. So if we download on this link here, download, so don't need to download the SDK at this point, that's for developers. That's probably a step way beyond what we're trying to do at the moment, which is just get set up with some basic mods. So there you go. That will download that file. So then next step is just need to put that somewhere on your computer. You can put it on your desktop. It's probably the simplest place. Um, what I do is I actually just stuck them all in uh, underscore mods files. And that way I can keep track of exactly what's installed on my computer. So within there... I have the files that he has provided and within there there is that bin folder and that has the files that you want. There are three files, there you go, the, the DLL, the ASI and the third file under there <laughs> from that screenshot, I can't see where it is, but anyway, those three files in that bin folder and then you put them into the directory where it's the GTA XE files. So you find that through program files or if you're in Steam, you look under uh, Properties, open up that folder. But anyway, search for the Grand Theft Auto XE file. That's the one. Okay. Once you have installed, once you've copied those files in to that folder, it's then time to launch the game. So what you may see is you may see a warning from Rockstar about modifying the game. As long as you're just playing story mode, so you're not playing GTA Online, you're fine. But goes without saying, don't use these mods in GTA Online or you can get yourself banned. And also with this script hook 5, they actually won't run in GTA Online. But to avoid that risk, all you need to do is just take those files out of the folder. And then when we're away, so we're just having some fun with this to get started. And just enabled the moon gravity cheat on here, um, enabled through that menu. We're just having some fun with some of the things that it can do. Um, beautiful. Beautiful chaos. So this moon... Oh, that car is actually going into the road. Embedding itself in the road. What? <laughs> oh dear, I love it. So moon gravity is a cheat. You can get a cheat code. Obviously, you can do a lot more stuff in this menu. Like spawning cars and new stuff, but it was quite a fun place to start. Is that, see that lorry? That lorry, or truck, if you're in the US, just disappeared into that building. Wow. 
It's actually embedded in it, or it's just disappeared. Yeah. The lorry has just completely disappeared. Wow. Okay. So the next thing is, if you want to install some more mods beyond that, that will get you started, is go back to uh, GTA 5 slash mods.com and start looking around. Again, like I said, just be really cautious about what you're what you're downloading, disclaimer, disclaimer. So one of the things that caught my eye was I went from most popular and checking that's recent with us, open all interiors. Because one of the real downsides of GTA 5 is this incredible game, but you can't get into a lot of the buildings. So what this, this does, and thank you again to the developers, it opens up a whole bunch of interiors. Very cool. So you just to make sure when you're looking at mods for the requirements. So there, so the need um, script five that we have installed. Other ones, you need a bunch of stuff like .NET and all kinds of things. So just start simple, and then maybe I'll do a second video showing you how to install more complex mods. But just check that script hook five is all you need. So all you're doing is just copying the files in the folder that you download again into that. GTA 5 source directory. So here, this simple open tutorial mod, so there's a readme in there, but it's these other two files that you want, the config and the ASI. So again, we just copy them into this folder where it's the GTA 5 XE file, and then we're here. And this is a really, really cool mod. I'm really pleased I downloaded this one. So you just opens up the whole world to you. So now with these interiors, nearest one's up here, just set that, this massive building, I think there's a, I think it's a helicopter thing, is it to the side or on top? And then, boom, you see, is that door open? What about this one? Ah, perfect. And then, there we are, enter the interior. And, whoop. A little bit of a weird transition, but anyway, and now we're inside this building. You can have a wander around. Obviously, great place to hide if you're playing the game. Let's have a look what's in here. It's kind of like one of the big apartments. Very nice. Beautiful view. Might just have a little look around with the telescope. Oh, the telescope works. Perfect. So, again, thank you so much to the developers that put this together. It just completely transforms the game. You can have so much fun. So, I hope that was helpful for those of you looking to get started on mods. And like me, made it a lot simpler to understand.